Start detonator head. Time combination, delayed action, tumbler, not trip. Repeat. Time combination, delayed action, tumbler, not trip. Right. You type mounting. Security pick. Now removing security. Mister, who are you talking to? Friends of mine, Danny. Telling them what I'm doing. And if I do anything silly, they can tell the next man where I went wrong. Why can't you tell him yourself? Quiet again, Danny. Still as a mouse. Removing pin. Pin removed. Detonator hasn't come away. This is the ticklish bit. Removing detonator. Detonator removed. Okay, Sergeant. All over? All over. Operation successful. Patient died. Oh. <laughs> well, Sergeant, good work, sir. We have some new side. Here's the captain now. From the war office, sir. Very urgent. Sergeant, you'll have to carry on. The brass has to want me for some reason or other. Good luck. Thank you, sir. Captain Stevenson, sir. I'm Perry. This is General Weber. How do you do? How do you do? Have a cigarette. Thank you. Well, Stevenson, before we begin, just let's know if we've got this right. Your father was Colonel Lawrence Stevenson. That's right. Killed in 1916 in the war. Yes, before that, as a civilian, he was consulting chemist to the oil refineries in Plasje, in Romania. You grew up there. You were born there. Yes, and I came to England to school when I was 15. After you left school, you spent two years in Germany. The uh, Berlin University. Chemical engineering. Yes. Uh, well, now, don't you think it's about time that we, uh, you told Captain Stevenson why we asked him to come and see us? Yes. Well, Stevenson, the fact is, the Nazis are making poison gas on a huge scale in a new factory. In Czechoslovakia, somewhere near Pilsen. We've reason to believe they're using a new formula, fog gas. Now, we want to know exactly what they're making and stop them making it. In other words, we want someone to get hold of the formula, then blow the whole place to blazes before they get a chance to distribute the stuff, which might be at any moment. You speak German fluently and Romanian like a native. Yes. You're a chemical expert. And as things are at the moment, you could get in through Romania. I'm afraid all I know about spies and picked up from one or two rather second-class novels. This is the sabotage job. And a pretty long shot, whatever way you look at it. No one would blame you if you don't think you're up to it. When would you want me to start, sir? Tonight.
Believe me, madame, with me you have nothing to fear. I am this treachery itself. Our love will be like a secret symphony. I am not as others begging for garters, locks of hair. No, no. Just give me some simple little thing with nothing personal about it at all. You know, gold cigarette case, cufflinks, felt studs, Rolls Royce. You know, just some simple little thing. How's that? How am I doing? Grand. Romanian iron guards are the right. An officer, but not a gentleman. How well I know them. You see, here in Romania, you make a very good living. Thank you very much. You hear some more about yourself. Yan Tartu. Hmm. Enterprising chap, aren't I? By the way, what happened to the real Tartu? He met with a fatal accident. Oh, you fellas have been busy. Here are Yan Tartu's papers. The membership card of the Romanian Iron Guard. Until you cross the border into Hungary, this passport describes you as a Greek merchant, Pateri, a mythical character. Am I all right as a Greek merchant? Well, you will be when you get your overcoat on. You don't worry, you're all right until you cross into Hungary, everything's fixed for you. But once you cross the border into Hungary, you must destroy that Greek passport. Then present yourself to the German consulate to get. To get. Tell him Miller, Dr. Miller. Dr. Miller. Now, you must get your visa to Czechoslovakia from him. We'll be standing by tomorrow night as arranged. No, since you get on, well, uh, it can't be much use to you. I'm a struggle along on my own, eh? Yes. Mm. It's going to be too easy. Now, one last memory test. I don't want to take any unnecessary chances. The whole thing is one big chance. Now, when you finally get to Pilton, the man you contact is... Peter Valek, a shoemaker. His address? 38 Reichstrasse. Good. Now, remember, he's our only remaining contact to check underground. So you realize it's important? Quite. Maybe. Sit down. 
Well, one weather German legation will rest. Dr. Müller, Consul speaking. You know Colonel von Wetter well? Oh, but of course, of course. Like a brother, all these months we work together. Hands in cloth, shoulder to shoulder. You really think that is necessary? I do, most necessary. Sorry for you? No, no, not the least. I'm only worried that you should go to so much unnecessary trouble on my behalf. Don't you worry about that. Where do you intend to go from here? Well, von Wetter thought I could be of use in one of the munition or chemical plants in Pinsky. He thought I could be of great use. They need skilled men. I am a skilled man. I'm a skilled chemist. My only way is to serve this you're a high Hitler. Von Wetter thought you could give me a Czechoslovakian visa and recommend me to the authorities in... Yes, it is that here. Hello. Is that Colonel von Wetter? This is Heinrich Müller. Consul is again Hungary. Yes, they get. What? I can't hear you clearly. Well, oh, I'm sorry, Colonel, to get you out of bed, but this seems important. Yes, I have a man here, an escaped iron guardian, Jan Tartu. Did you give him a letter to deliver to me? Yes. He's here now. Oh. Then you did give him a letter. Oh, I'm sorry, Colonel, yes, perhaps I should have rung you in the morning, but... It seems so important. I assure you, Colonel, I, I'm very sorry. I, I, I'm sorry, Colonel. I, I'm very sorry, Colonel. Do everything you can for him. Good. He's convinced. Great. He sounded like Dr. Goebbels with a bilious attack. Come on, let's wind up and get out of here, Mike. about in your old age. No family. Mm -hmm. Well, I too wander lonely as a cloud. It floats on mm -hmm. high or veils and hidden. When all at once I saw crowd. A host of golden daffodils. You're alone here. Where are you from? Lakefield, Bucharest. You mission? The new gas plant. I shall need help from the underground. Uh, this, this shoe is fitting here. You repair it. Check, please. In the name of the right, I arrest you. See what for? Treason. What are you doing? Your papers. Captain Yen, talk to Iron Guard of Romania. So, what are you doing here? I've only just arrived in Wilson. I needed a shoemaker. You did, eh? Well, at least I shall never have to touch the feet of any more like you. Ah. Take him out. What's wrong with you? Well, one has to admit they have a certain crap like courage. You will be drained from him till the last drop. George, I see you have not yet registered. Go to police headquarters immediately. Certainly, sir. I hit that. I hit that. Permit for work, permit for food, permit for clothing, police identity card. It is an offense to lose them. Order day. A room in the Panacek house. You will report to Inspector Hogo, who also lives there. Inspector. A foreman at the Skoda Works? Correct. But that is ridiculous. Ridiculous? What do you mean? I am not an ordinary munition worker. Dr. Miller's letter tells you that. And I tell you, all my life I've worked at chemistry. It is not much, I ask, not much to serve the Fuhrer in the best way I can. That is only common sense, that is only reasonable. I am an expert, but an expert only at chemistry. You will work where you're told. That is party orders. I have only one wish, to serve the Fuhrer. I did that. And Hitler. Don't worry, Tadio. 
You'll have an easy time working with the chicks. Every now and then, some of them try and interfere with production. Keep your eyes open, and you will be well rewarded. I can promise you that. That's all. Thank you. Yes, I will keep my eyes open. Yes, I can promise you that. Sound your horn. Someone important? Hmm? General von Reinsen, commandant of this area. Oh, oh. I didn't hit that. Yes, this is Captain Tartu. He is billeted here. We have no more room. He will occupy your room. You will move into the kitchen. And be quick about it. Now, tell Inspector Vogel you are here, sir. Remove your things. I will take the kitchen. Oh, the soldier order. The soldier. I will take the responsibility. That is very kind of you. Not at all. If your room suited me, I should take it. Oh, yes. But it has no private entrance and likewise no private exit. That's the kitchen. There is a back door. Hmm? Well, I am. Though I need hardly tell you, you've only to look at me. I am a man for the ladies. Or rather, the ladies are for me. And with a lady, a back door, she comes. Then in the whole wide world, nobody knows. Very helpful, very encouraging. You understand. No, perhaps you have forgotten. Our patient general, or perhaps impatient, is waiting for someone who lives here. Marushka Lanova. Her room is upstairs. A woman? Is she beautiful? The German officer. A countrywoman of yours. A Czech. She has found it convenient to forget it. I'll take her to the kitchen. Ah, Captain Tartu. I did that. I did that. They called me from headquarters. I'm to take you to the school of it. I'm at your service. And I at yours. Anna! Anna! Anna, come up here! What have you got to say for yourself? Why, I don't know what you mean. Don't stand there slapping your tongue about. Answer me. Why haven't these boots been saddle soaked? Don't tell me you can't get any. Because I might very easily have some wrong out of your hide. Marushka, wonderful. You're just as beautiful when you're angry as when you're pleased. Thank you, Arthur. How charming. Pardon, Captain Yan Tartu of the Romanian Iron Guard. The inspector omitted to introduce me. I can well understand. His attention was elsewhere. But I would go further than thee. For me, your anger is not only beautiful, it is a burning flame. In itself, a fitting symbol of the new order. Really, Captain, your words are as fantastic as your clothes. Marushka, you're having coffee with me this afternoon? I'm sorry, Arthur. What about dinner, then, tonight? There's a new orchestra at the casino. My time is not entirely my own. Will you ask me again? Of course. Will you, Otto? Of course. Take you to the works. Are you ready? Perfect. Fantastic. What? What she said about my clothes. Fantastic. <laughs> well, perhaps in this country they will seem a little strange. What do you think? For me, I must always be well dressed. You know, just a simple little suit. You think I should wear something else? At the works, you'll get a uniform. Good. I'm always at my best in a uniform. Good. I'm ready.
Operator, there's 12 hours left. I need to tell you that you must exact the maximum efficiency. There's a born laggard. Did you keep? What is happening? Someone has been detected as sabotage. One of them is a counterfeit, sir. I see. Where do you get it? Who made it? You realize what this means for you? Of course. If you have any accomplices here, whose names you might care to tell, things might go easier for you. About 600, sir. Put them away. They're useless. I'm afraid, sir, it's too late. They are gone. Check every shell on this line before resuming production. Yes, sir. How will you deal with her? She'll be shot immediately. It's all right. A favorite? Hmm? She lives at the house. The daughter of the Palatech woman. Attractive, oh yes, very, but not to be compared with the other. There is something about a beautiful woman in a riding habit. Captain, hmm? I think it would be a good thing for all concerned if I gave you some advice. But gee, there is a rule, a strict rule, that party members should not fraternize with Czech women. No. Then this morning, the commandant, he breaks the rule. You force me to be blunt. My dear Fogel, I don't force you. You are blunt. Keep off, Marushka. You mean the commandant might be annoyed? Or perhaps the inspector? <laughs> well, inspector, at least there's one less left to argue about. <laughs> Ah, you need to look forward. Sorry, I made my... We're going to help you in a minute. Are we able to win now? Why, only my daughter. Marushka Lanova has not yet returned. How long has your daughter been in? I don't know. I, I... May I be of assistance? Captain Jan Kartu, Romanian Iron Guard, now foreman of the Skoda Works. What has happened? A German officer has been killed nearby in the Kesselplatz a few minutes ago. Murdered? By some woman. She was seen running away. Escaped so far. I ask you, how long has your daughter been in? I don't know. I, I... Ah, but I know. I will bring her down. I tell you. 
Yes, I've heard about it. What have you? You checked Gino Deacon from George July. I feel sorry. Yes, yes. You don't stay with the woman. Don't think you can hide anything from me, my girl. No. I give you that it's impossible. Can't search your home. I'll show you if I can't search your home. You chicks have got to be forced to cooperate. An officer of the right has been murdered. And if you have a gun here, I... Never mind, Romanian. I'll handle this. How long have you been in the house? About half an hour. That's right. I saw her. But she came in through the back door. I often come in by the kitchen. Are you sure she came in half an hour ago? I'm certain of it. And now that I remember, Major, she had a funny look on her face. I congratulate you, Captain. Your powers of discernment are remarkable. But your memory is faulty. Didn't you see us say that this murder took place less than 15 minutes ago? Yes. What? Are you sure? Captain Sartu will never be a candidate for our military intelligence. <laughs> All the same, don't you ever dare tell a member of the party that he can't search your home. I suggest you spend your first evening studying what's contained in those party program, behavior, Future aim. Always interpreted by the Fuhrer himself. It will be an inspiration. If anyone calls, I've gone to the council meeting at the Bauhaus. Yes, Heil Hitler. Heil Hitler. I think our Fuhrer must use as many pencils as he does men. <laughs> you saved my life. You cannot understand why. Don't you have a reason? I shall always owe you mine. In times like these, you never know who your friends are. Who are you? I'm here on a mission. I've come a long way, and that's all I can tell you. But it's so important. After what you have done. Pablo, you can help me. You must know how the chicks are brave and loyal as you are. I must contact the underground, understand? The underground? Yes. I can't tell you how that dinner is. Every hour comes. Tonight, you can. I don't know. I'll see what I can do. You see me. Oh, so you're home for once. Come upstairs and take my boots off. This Marusha, tell me something about her. She boards here. She seems a girl of means, of education. Her father owned a big textile factory. My husband worked for him. Is her father alive? He and my husband are both dead. Oh, I'm sorry. I'm very sorry. But this intimacy with high-ranking German officers is rather a strange transfer of affection, isn't it? Some women are loyal only to their own greed, Captain. Yes, yes, I will. Papa, listen. I can't talk now. She wants to see you. Marushka? Yes, up in the room. Now? Yes. Command performance, eh? Wait, wait, what can one lose? Come in. Oh, you like? Oh, Captain Tartu. Never have I climbed stairs with greater anticipation. I see you're incorrigible. Have a cigarette and give me one, will you? Please. Captain. Oh. I detest being forced into apologies, but 
It seems I owe you one. I can hardly believe my ears. Not only beautiful, but unexpected. A woman of surprise. This is too much, too much. Well, General von Reinsen, the commandant. Hmm? I know. He was telling me of the work of your iron guard in Romania. Very clever. And very courageous. I don't think he warranted my rudeness, so hereby I apologize. And hereby I accept your apology. And what is more, I too can be generous. There was, I admit it, something in what you said. You are a woman of taste. No, just bad temper will fall down. No, no, a woman of taste. You like me better as I am now, yes? Infinitely. Ah, but I see a doubt him is giving me a shadow in those eyes. I know, the pomade, yes. Never again do I soil myself with a pomade. From now on, it is an offense. Never shall it be said that Captain Tartu relied on the hair oil. No. You shall see me as I am. Almost. Almost. Why not quite? Who well, no. knows? It is possible. We shall see. What on earth is that? Your dinner. Dinner? What's in milk and dried up cheese? Where's that deal, Pat? The butcher had no real thing to do. More wine excuses. Get it out of here before I'm sick. What a way to live. Well, seems I shall have to go elsewhere for my dinner. Will you give me the pleasure of taking you? Why, yes. In fact, I rather hoped you'd ask me. Can I have half an hour to get dressed? Nothing could be better, for in that half hour, I too have most important business. May one ask what? I have to remove the pomade. Hide it now. Sorry. Why? I feel in the mood for talk, for real talk, an exchange of confidences, of hopes and fears. This helps. But you've done a lot of talking. You've told me the life story of Jan Tartu. What do you think of it? Shall I tell you the truth? Please. I don't know what to think. It was very highly colored, but men will do desperate things out of love for their country. Or for their faith in the new order. Why, yes, of course. Or for their love of freedom. No, Captain Tartu. Without the pomade, there is something very different about you. Away from Fogel and the Commandant, I would say the same about you. My family have lost everything and own much. I want to get it back. That's why I risk my reputation with our German visitors. You risk something of your reputation as a good Nazi in your little plot with Pavla. Huh? Hmm. There was a whole pot full of veal paprika in the kitchen, and you knew it. And Pavla knew you knew it. I'm not such a fool as, as Captain Sartoon sometimes appears. You may take me into the moonlight. Everything she knew. Who are you? Not yet. You know Peter Valek, the shoemaker? There are many shoemakers. He was my only contact. You know, you're taking a big chance on me. I'm taking a chance on what's behind your eyes. Look at me. Will you do the same with me? country is being tortured to death. If I were to do anything to increase that suffering... I'm here to help. You must believe that. You want me to put you in touch with the underground? As soon as possible. Tomorrow. When you return from the work. I 
couldn't get back sooner. That fool Otto turned up. I shouldn't have done what I did today. Put all of you in danger. No, darling. It's been over three months since that beast ordered Carl and the others to be executed. I shouldn't have let him live that long. I know, darling. But Carl got his revenge today. Because I had Carl's own revolver. And he fell right in the gutter. Right on his face in the filth. What happened about Romanian? You were right about that, darling. I'm going to speak to the council members in the morning. Mr. Ed, you had to trust him the moment I saw him. Strange, isn't it? There's something about him. Yes. Something about him. He's so strong, honest, gentle at the same time. Anushka, have I heard you talk about a man like that before? What happened? So falling in love. Am I? Yes, I think I am. I'm glad. You know when you are. I remember Carl. He killed the man who killed my Carl. But it hasn't brought Carl back to me. Killing, killing, killing. There's nothing left. Oh, nothing. No. <laughs> Young swine. I failed. But others will carry on. Keep her here. Captain, the guard is certain that this tattoo here saw the girl pick up. The door it is open. May we have it thrown? Shut it. Thank you. Yes, it was Pavla Palaje. She had that bag in her hand. More steel filing to burn out more motors. Yes. Why didn't you say so out there? First lieutenant isn't it off? Yes. Captain, surely you understand. But it is so plain. Already I have made friends among the ship. They begin to trust me. The work that I was sent here to do, it will go on. But these checks were never to suspect that it was their new friend, Captain Tartu, who gave this girl away forever. Surely now, Captain. A man of your intelligence must see. Yes, of course. Quite right. Good work, Captain. This won't be made public, I hope. Of course not. What do you take me for? Start your machines again. Have the girls shot. Yes, sir. Oh, Tatu. Sit. You seem very quick winded for a Romanian. Oh, well, as I told them when they first came here, but not all are as quick as you, even in the party. I am not an ordinary munition worker. No, no. I'm a graduate chemist. Is that so? Chemist, huh? Yes. 
Well, I will see what can be done. That is all. Thank you, sir. a wink all night. But don't tell me I have to wait, because I made an appointment early this morning. Dr. Novotny will see you now. Good afternoon. Good afternoon, Doctor. Come in. Please, sit down. Maroska, I understand you spent yesterday with the commandant again. Anything to tell us? Nothing yet. Every time I brought up the subject of the new aerodrome, he avoided it, very obviously. Then why call the meeting? I wanted to speak to the council because I feel I have something much more important. It concerns a man named Tartu, young Tartu. Tartu? Well, then you know him. We know he's living in the Palachik house. Yes. And he's a friend, Dr. Navasny. Yesterday, when they came to see Pavla, he hit the gun, saved her life. She's on a very important mission. She wants to contact the underground. You didn't tell him about us. Oh, no, naturally not. I only obey orders. But I want permission to bring him here. What makes you so sure of him, Marushka? Well, I told you. He saved Pavla's life. Oh, yes. He mentioned Peter Valek. And then, well, seeing so much of the other kind, I'm not entirely insensible to honesty and sincerity when I do meet it. Did you know Peter Valek was executed yesterday? No. When did you last see Pavla Palachek? This morning. This afternoon, she was shot. I like with him. Very useful, that. 
virtue of necessity. You can trust me absolutely to eliminate Captain Tartu. Knife. No. Novotny just told us. For every Nazi killed, 200 Czechs will die. I would give myself up, but it wouldn't do any good, darling. This race of stupid men doesn't feel safe unless it's 200 to 1. Now, it must be done some other way. Novotny asked me how I was going to do it. I said I didn't know. I didn't then. done away with by one of his own kind. One sneaking coward destroys another, Anna, and nobody's the wiser. I think I refused to come in here last night, for some such reason. <laughs> the girl can change her mind, huh? Your hat is pretty, but you might like to take it off, huh? <laughs> well, let me get my breath. <laughs> and have a look round. This is a very restful room, Arthur. Schnapps, sent from home. But this didn't come from home. That? Oh, that came from the finest art collection at Pilsen. Borrowed for the duration. Yes, of my life. Marushka, to your being here in my room. To the success of my being here. I said, to the success of my being here, Otto. Otto, I need your help. I need it badly. And I know you're one I can trust. Always, Moroska. In any way. You know I want to get back with my family own, after the war. I know, darling, but that's something I can... And I know you have a party career in mind. Obviously, a man of your ability doesn't expect to remain a mere inspector. Oh, I've, I've planned ahead that has put We me... might realize both our ambitions, Otto. If you'll help me with a certain individual by the name of Jan Tartu. Tartu? What's he... I think he's a spy. What? I'm sure of it. You know, I detect the insolent fool, Maruska. But you must be careful. He's of the Romanian Iron Guard. The party still needs their help. He came with credentials. Ah, oh, God. I doubt he even comes from Romania. No? What makes you think that? I don't know. There's an underground group here of some sort working against the Reich, isn't there? Yes, yes, go on. Well, last night at the casino, he hinted he was trying to contact them to get their help. Help? For what? Otto, when a man wants the help of an underground movement, it, it can't be for the good of the Reich. Oh, yes, I... Now, I didn't say anything last night to you. That was why I was so easy with him. I wanted to see if he'd mentioned it to me again this morning. Well, did he? Just as I was coming out of my room, he suggested that this girl in the house, this... this traveler... Oh, yes. I understand she was shot today. Sabotage where she works or something. Yes, yes, but never mind about her. All right. He practically said he knew I was her friend and that we could do something for him with the underground or whatever it is they call themselves. Oh. Well, this is serious. Oh. 
suppose he can easily prove the bottle. How? Call the Gestapo and tell them to check up on him. No, no, Arthur. Huh? Not when we can get all the credit ourselves. Yes, sir. But how? Oh, my darling, it's so simple. You can use this, can't you? Yes, but I've got to be sure. All it needs is some little music. Such as in the garden last night, only you're behind the hedge to hear for yourself. Then what? I scream, you shoot, you and I are both there to testify. An enemy of the Reich lies there, uh, both of I see. I get what I want, and maybe they'll make you a general or something. Very clever, Marushka. When can you meet him again? Tonight. Where? At the cafe where we were last night. I'll be there. There may be people around. Oh, for the good. More convincing. You know the alcove on the terrace? Yes. Take him there. I'll make arrangements. I'll be able to hear everything he says. Mm, darling, you're a genius. Huh? And Otto? Huh? You know what else might happen for us? If we're successful? What? Next time I come in this room, I... Might even take off my hat. Romanian again, eh? Huh. I'm sorry to be late, but it's been a hard day. Pavla, I've spoken to Yes. Are you there? Yes. She looked at me when they led her away. I'll never forget that look. Never. I know. I know how close she was to you. What is your real name? I can't tell you now. Later I will. And I've other things to tell you. Things that can't be told until my job's done. Have you any news for me? Well, I didn't tell you last night, but I'm not a member of this underground group myself. Frankly, I don't think they're ready to trust me yet. Huh? But I was sure Pavla was. And I thought through Pavla I could... But now... Do you know anyone else? I have to be very careful. Oh, I realize that. But it's more important than ever now. Things are coming to a head. I'm being transferred to the new gas laboratory tomorrow. I'm sorry, darling, but I work as fast as I can. You know that, don't you? Of course. Of course. So just let's enjoy being together. Yes. Would you like to sit? Over there? Shall we? you're doing to get rid of him. I want to hear. Mm -hmm. I want to hear it from you. All officers, report to me. Trouble, I'm afraid. Don't worry. I'm uncertain that corrupted tech elements of the local population. All tech will be examined for their passes. Other papers and concealed weapons on the word of command. 
All checks will collect in the center of the floor. Attention! Check! Mark! Captain. Where is the gas plant? It's built inside the hill. Walk through the farm holes and you'll find it.
I trust you know your business, my friend. We are running an emergency schedule here. I'm quite confident, sir. You have worked with the metal in Cumberland, right? Oh, yes. Both for two and all three, the Hylocytes and the Professor Brun at Muni. Good. This way. You will find we are making an amazing gas here, Tartu. Start by learning the formula thoroughly. I didn't see any bomb casings out there, Dr. Willendorf. Are they filled on another level? No. We ship the gas to the various fronts in two separate liquid forms. There the liquids are compounded, and the bomb case is charged just prior to operation. But get that set in your head as quickly as possible. Come one hour earlier in the morning, please. Steadily. All day tomorrow we shall be running final tests, and I shall need your assistance. Final tests? You're not ready with your first shipment, are you? Two weeks ahead of time. Tomorrow night we will be loading it onto the truck. And soon, on some beautifully clouded evening, it will be unloaded on England. I'll hit the head. Commandant called unexpectedly to take us to dinner. He told me to tell you that only that could keep off the signal tonight. Where did they go? Do you know? No. Is there no way at all that I can contact her? No. Can't you get a message through to her? No. Look here, I've got to do something tonight. Take any chance. Can't you help? I can get you some supper. the hour and you're going to rise up and throw it out, eh? Oh. Well, who's going to lead you? Tell me that. <laughs> Some of those amateur heroes of yours that you've got hidden away in that underground army. Oh. Mm -hmm. All right, don't talk. But they are not going to lead you, I can tell you that. Why? Because they won't be able to rise out of the grave. That's why. I know six of the rats were going to be smoked out by the end of the week. Six. The Gestapo's got their names and everything. Do you know why I know? Because I happen to be. <laughs> well, maybe I'm talking to them. Oh. Hey, you. Another Randy, quick. Come in, sir. Yes, 
plenty of things I can tell you. Plenty of things. You must be pretty good at ice hockey. But if you're the people I think you are, it was worth it. Tonight you said you knew several names of checks on the Gestapo's list. Yes. We want to know who they are. Believe me, I don't know them. I only talk like that in the last hope of making contact with the underground. And I think I have. Haven't I? Supposing you have. I'm a British secret agent, gentlemen. I need your help desperately. We need more proof than merely your word for it. But that's all I can give. No, Peter Vallette. He was about to put me in touch with you when they caught him. My job is a very big one. I'm here to wreck their new gas plant. I'm working there now, but I must have help. Chemicals, a place to make pocket bombs, men to help make them. Tonight, now, they're shipping the first batch of gas tomorrow. You must believe me. Do you think I'd be mad enough to take this chance if the situation wasn't of the great... One moment. You informed on the parachute, girl. Why? I had to. They knew I'd seen her do it. And she knew they'd seen me. If you ever erect a monument to check patriotism, that girl's name should be carved in letters as high... Grant you that. What is your real name? Captain Theron Stevenson, Royal Engineers, now detached for special work of military intelligence. Break this, swine! Oh, that's there. The Gestapo, I take it. Correct. It's not a nice sensation for a man to realize he's bungled his job. But I assure you. Your little display at the bar was slightly obvious. Evidently. Well. What now? Hmm. We do these things quickly. No formalities. Just one shot at the base of the neck. Well, do we carry on? Say over to get things ready. If you care to write a message to your family or anything, over there. Very kind of you. We will go through the decoding office. So don't try any tricks. Having a difficult time, huh? Isn't easy. First time I've written this kind of letter. Once is enough. Just a moment, please. Dear Terry. I'm sorry I have messed things up. Please let my mother know. I'm sure you will be tactful. Give her my dear love. To you and all friends, all the best. Sorry to miss the victory. Binge. Yours, Karen Stevenson. That's it.
I suppose you realize this is all quite futile. You can do your work with me, but you can have to do it the next and the next. And no matter how long it takes, the whole civilized world will keep on coming at you. Coming at you and coming again. You know that? Why? You wait, Nestor. You made a brilliant effort to complex the underground. Congratulations. You have Captain Stevens. At your service, sir. I do. I'm Dr. Novotny. I have the honor to be chairman of our council. By Jove! To think I'm a there. I'm sorry we had to be so strenuous, but you can understand, I'm sure. Uh, certainly was a convincing performance. <laughs> Look here, have you got anything besides beer here? <laughs> Peter, some wine for all of us. Oh, Doctor, we mustn't waste the city. I can't think how to take it. Yes, sir. I shall need all the help we can get in at once. A place to work. Watch mechanism for timing Yes, device. I know. Get to Urban. Either at my office or his house. All the help we can give you, you shall have. We have our own laboratory here on the cellar. Crude as it is. Splendid. We we'll manage. Beautiful work. I don't know what I'd have done without your help. The most compact container of lethal power I've ever seen. Oh, we learned something, eh? Yeah. Is there enough explosive in there to blow up the entire plant? Yeah, properly placed, there's enough nitrocene in these to wipe out two entire blocks. The only thing I can understand is why they sent him. <laughs> <laughs> Didn't you say you had to report an hour earlier today? Yes. It is nearly seven o'clock. Oh, thank you. Our oh, timetable worked out perfectly. These are set to go off at exactly 12.15. That gives me just 15 minutes after noon lay off to drop them in and clear out. And Nestor here will be in the car by the South Field. From well, for o'clock on. And I have the door open. Good. If you don't, you'll have to inspect the passenger through the window. <laughs> <laughs> Morning, Lieutenant. I shall have to hurry. I'm late. Well, Tato? I've been waiting. Have you any news for me? Oh, plenty. See you in the lunch hour. Same old sabotage. <laughs> Tonight, we use this together. Aha. Ah, Marushka. Marushka, good. Come. Come. Come in here. So serious, Arnold? Serious? Wait till I the full call and we'll see. Hello? Inspector Fogel speaking, Division A2. Get me Colonel von Wetter, Drum Legation Bucharest. Yes, that's it. What is this little drama all about? When I got to headquarters this morning, I heard that part two is now working at the new gas factory. Yes, he did mention. Do you know he didn't come home last night? No, I didn't. Oh, this is all too dangerous. He can't wait now. If anything happened, and it was found out that you and I were suspicious and hadn't reported him, why? Well, why does he call to Bucharest? I inquired about his credentials at headquarters. He came with a letter from the consul at Seget and was supposed to have been sent to him by von Wetter in Bucharest. I'm going to that source now. Do you really think you need? Yes, Marushka. Hello? Yes? I'm waiting. Mm. Who is it? Chance I made a mistake. Still waiting. An inspector Fogel in Tosum. Von Meadow speaking. Tartu? That's impossible. Tartu has been dead over six months. Ah, then he is a spy. I thought his papers were forged. That's why I checked with you, Colonel. Yes. He'll be dealt with at once. Thank you, Colonel. Yes. Hi, Lita. <laughs> you made no mistake, my darling. <laughs> you don't seem very pleased about it. Of course I'm pleased. I don't know what all the excitement about. 
I told you he was a spy, now you find it out for yourself. Yes. But now he's working at the gas factory. I must have him arrested. At once. Hello? Why let the Gestapo... You talked about this doing us a bit of good? It will. I don't believe in waiting, not for a moment. Hello? Hello. Huh? Don't you remember what I said when I was in here last? You men, you're all alike. First it's me, and then it's your future. Same thing, Marushka. You're in my future. This won't take long. Don't be too sure. I'm not used to being treated like this. Your telephone call can wait. You might lose both me and your future, if you're not very careful. Oh, I won't lose either. I've never felt so strong or full of confidence before. Hello? Don't you worry about me, darling. Inspector Fogel speaking. I want the gas factory. Emergency. First time in my... Now, we've got to save him. There's no need to try to turn. He is dead. Oh, I didn't mean to. I wish I had been able to. Think, Moroska, Pavla, Karl, your father. He can only die once. That is a pity. We shan't be safe here now. Go to Dr. Novotny and tell him I'll report to him as soon as possible. Very funny. An inspector was calling the gas plant, and just when he said emergency, he stopped and hung up. Did you get the number he called from? Yes, but when I called back, there was no answer. You'd better report it. Yes. Have you got a permit? No, but it's very urgent. Have you got a permit? No, but I simply must be in the... All right, better in. Well, Fraulein. Hello, Lieutenant. Could I possibly speak to a friend of mine? He says he works here. He isn't lying. Well, if you give me his name, I'll see whether he is or not. Young Tattoo. Tattoo? <laughs> Just think of the best-looking man in the place. I'm not counting yourself. Huh, Tattoo. He certainly wasn't lying about you, Fraulein. Was he telling the truth about your sister? Didn't he mention me? Lieutenant Cran. Oh, yes. So you're Lieutenant Cran. Of course. Oh, Lieutenant. Couldn't I speak to Yan, please? Well, it is an infection of the rules during working hours. But... Oh, but you can manage it, yes? For me. All right. Well, shall we say, um, for your sister, huh? <laughs> <laughs>
raise the alarm and pursue this girl. One moment. Can I ask the Operating tonight. Here's everything and warming up. How long have you got? Less than 20 minutes. Now, if we are to go as planned, we must get up there and watch our time. The dawn is with us. Are you ready? Yeah, I'm... darling. I can't come with you. What? You'll always be in my heart. There's work to be done here still. Nonsense. Mark! There's nothing more you can do for us. You are a liability, in fact. So. I order you to leave the country. 
in good hands. Doctor. Please, we must get started. Well, Doctor, you said yourself. Words sometimes are poor things. Right. Good luck. Goodbye. 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 Where are we heading for? Motor. In a German plane? It's all right. We have prearranged the signals. 20 miles offshore by secret coast. Now is that chance? If we don't get away with this, you'll always know, won't you? Always. Coffee. I'll bet you all the marks in your box. All right. 50 marks, yeah. add it up. Right up and keep them up. All clear, Bombay. Face that wall. Quickly, get in there. Keep your hands up. Keep them up. No! 